Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Welcome back on this Saturday evening. It is an eventful one to say the least. Right now, a cold front is pushing through the region and stirring up showers and storms as it does so. A lot of you have already seen the result of those showers and storms. A lot of rain is the first thing, a little bit of lightning as well. Even some gusty winds you can see zooming around radar here. It's kind of the case for just about everybody across the region as this line continues to move. So it's something that we are looking out for, especially because there are some severe thunderstorm warnings in place right now. You can see there is one in Schuylkill County. Our other one in Northumberland and Columbia County was just canceled about one minute ago. So good news there. Not so good news when it comes to flash flood warnings. We have one in Luzerne and Lackawanna County until 830 tonight. So something to keep in mind, especially because like I've hinted at and told you before, it's those heavy downpours that are the biggest threats within these storms. Look at this. This is just in the last few hours. Wilkesbury with nearly an inch and a half of rain almost half an inch in Lansford and almost an inch in Holly. But again, it's numbers like that coming from those heavy downpours that are really the issue. So again, that's the big threat is the rain. But we're also looking at those very gusty winds with some of these cells looking up to about 60 miles an hour. Hail, it's not out of the question. Tornado, I can't say no, but those are two very low end threats right now. It's those downpours and those gusty winds that have caused issues. We've had had some reports as well of trees down. So something to be careful of if you do have to get on the roads. Here's the timing of how this stuff ends because I know we all want it to at this point behind the front. There's nicer conditions ahead. It takes a little while to settle in, but as we move into tomorrow, some of that air from the north comes in and helps us out a little bit. It dries us out a little bit and while we still have a chance of a shower here and there really early in the day tomorrow. It's not bad overall. We do get enough sunshine that you can enjoy most of the day outside. So let me recap on tonight and tomorrow. Then we'll get to the really good stuff a little bit later. First of all, tonight, and I'm really talking those late overnight hours here, we end up with a scattered shower here and there after again that front moves through as well as most of this precipitation. Still muggy though and still quite warm for this time of year. Tomorrow, things begin to change. We end up in the low and mid 80s, a stray shower, especially in the morning. We're partly cloudy. Things are okay overall, but they get really good as we move into Monday. High pressure comes in from the north, helps us out, settles in for Tuesday and Wednesday, gives us a lot of sunshine and much less humid conditions, thank goodness. A little rain comes back for Thursday, but finally back to sunshine for the start of the weekend. So good news overall. Just stay patient with these storms and make sure you download the eyewitness weather app. That way nothing catches you off guard. So good news, bad news situation here, AJ. We do have to deal with a lot when it comes to this line of storms tonight, but we do get rewarded with a couple really nice days later in the week. And honestly, if you had plans early in the day, I know it was a little muggy out, but but this was a nice Saturday for most of the day. I actually spent a lot of my morning outside. It was great, there but you go. yeah, not so great now, unfortunately. Well, hopefully you all had plans in the morning. I know <laughs> a little bit later here has gotten a little iffy, but like you said, once those storms move out, it's okay. Looking pretty so, good. No grilling tonight, but maybe tomorrow. That's okay. We'll salvage one of these weekend <laughs> days. That's fine with me. Thank Perfect. you, Christina.